How you doing, buddy? Brought you all your favorite candies. All around the world, you can pick from many different types of candy. Today, we'll be looking into 10 of the sourest candies in the world. Fine and dandy, dandy like sour, sour candy. Sour Punch Straws. Why is it so sticky? I was eating sour straws. These babies were among one of the first entries into the sour candy world and have stuck around to this day. There are numerous reasons to like these unique sour candies, and if you haven't tried them yet, you should run to your closest candy shop to try them out. These sour straws aren't as sour as most of the other candies on this list, but can still pack quite a punch. One of the things most people enjoy about the Sour Punch Straws is that they're isn't just one layer of sour coating on the outside. Instead, it's sour all the way through, ensuring that you get a great, even dosage of sourness with each bite. What kind of place is this? The coating on each candy gives Sour Punch straws their sour flavor. The soft and sweet insides provide a pleasant contrast to the sourness of the initial bite. Each distinct taste in their variety packs can be identified, and you'll find that the unique flavors are far superior to some of the other sour candies available. Sour Punch straws are also associated with a pleasant gummy texture, which many people prefer to that of other sweets in the same category. While the texture is not the same as red vines or other licorice goods, this sweet provides a unique eating experience not found anywhere else. Sour Patch Kids. Hands off the stash. My Sour Patch Kids are sacred. The sweet and sour gummy candies known as Sour Patch Kids are a crowd pleaser in any setting. They appear as little humanoid beans that are full of flavor and fun to eat. This candy has a sour sugar-like coating and comes in a range of colors and flavors. Sour Patch Kids have a devoted fan base because of their appealing look and taste. Sour Patch Kids were originally known as Mars Men when they were first introduced in the 1970s. Originally designed like Martians to capitalize on the 1970s space fad, the bite-sized candies were later converted into tiny, colorful, and tangy children following the Cabbage Patch Kids trend of the 1980s. Trendy stuff is just trendy, so what? As such, they were renamed Sour Patch Kids in 1985. The tartaric and citric acids in the sugar coating react with saliva on the tongue to generate a powerful, biting flavor. The sweet gummy candy beneath the coating then releases its sweetness, making this a unique and lovely snack for those who can handle the sour kick. Connoisseurs of sour candies love Sour Patch Kids, which are also sold under the name Very Bad Kids in France and Maynard Sour Patch Kids in the UK and Canada. Warheads. What are these things? They're warheads, dear. First produced in Taiwan in 1975, Warheads candy is well-renowned for being a favorite choice for kids looking for a thoroughly sour bonbon. While many candies are described as sour, the majority of them never get too intense. Warheads flavor is partially softened by some of the sweetness you get after pushing through the initial sour. They're a popular sweet in today's candy market, and many people appreciate them for what they are. Warheads are arguably one of the most sour candies candies you will ever encounter. It's a full-on blast of sour flavor as soon as these candies touch your mouth. Although Warheads are noted for being incredibly sour, some of them are easier on your taste buds than others. Warheads were not brought into the United States until the 1990s, when they were imported by the Foreign Candy Company. Malic acid, which is added to the exterior of the candy, gives it its sourness. Did you eat all this acid? The sour flavor does not remain indefinitely, as one might think. After about 5 to 10 seconds, it normally fades and is replaced by a considerably less acidic and sweet flavor. It's not difficult to see where the term warhead comes from after tasting these acidic candies for yourself. It arose from the idea that eating one makes you feel like you're eating a warhead. This candy is meant to be as sour as it possibly can be, which means warheads aren't for the faint of heart. The lemon flavor is the batch's strongest in terms of sour so buyer beware, it's potent. Toxic Waste A batch of toxic waste. 
You can't go wrong with toxic waste sweets if you enjoy slimy and extremely sour things. But who would want to eat toxic waste-flavored candy? Actually, you might be surprised. It's a super sour combination that folks can't seem to get enough of. If you're a social media user, you've probably seen some of the challenges to record yourself eating this candy and share your reaction with others. The candy has a really distinct appearance. The original version comes in a little barrel that appears to have slime seeping out of it. The candy's unique name stems from the fact that the barrel is labeled toxic waste. The goal of the candy's creation was to provide people with a candy that has extreme sour flavor. It's without a doubt one of the greatest when it comes to bitterness. I am the greatest. Based on what we've heard, warheads are nothing compared to toxic waste. Each toxic waste drum has 16 distinct mixed confectionery bits that will make you pucker like no other. Because there are five various flavors, your barrel will feature a combination of them. The creators have labeled the drums with a warning that you shouldn't attempt it if you're sensitive to sour candies, which really only adds to the enjoyment of trying them. The firm has issued its own bitter challenge, too. The goal is to test your oral endurance with the toxic confectionery. It's just another way to enjoy the candy and perhaps even engage in friendly competition with your friends. Crybaby Extra Sour Tube What's going on in this candy-coated heart of darkness? Nothing. Talk! Acids are commonly connected with sour confectionery. The majority of sweets include one or more acids to add flavor. In certain circumstances, though, the acid is employed as a coating. Sour candies are usually fruit-flavored and covered in acidic powder or liquid. The sour flavor is first to reach the tongue's receptors, followed by the sweet, fruity sensations. wonder how many licks it'll take to get to your center. The Crybaby Extra Sour Tube is without a doubt an unusual name. The idea is that the candy is so sour that it makes you cry. And when you're done munching the hard candy, there's a surprise prize waiting for you in the middle. Chewing gum. It's definitely a win if you can make it to the chewing gum, since it signifies you've overcome the tanginess. Lemon, cherry, apple, blue raspberry, and orange are among the flavors available in Cry Baby Extra Sour Tube. Another benefit of this candy is that it's gluten-free and kosher certified, so it is suitable for pretty much everyone. Taverner's Sour Lemon Drops Looks like this sour lemon drop has a hidden sweet center. Lemon sourness is something we're all familiar with. There isn't a single individual who hasn't made a strange expression when eating fresh lemon. We can't keep our faces straight since it's so sour. So if you're thinking about the sourest candy in the world, it's probably one made with lemon. Taverners are the makers of sour lemon drops. They're extremely acidic, taste like lemons, and are even shaped like lemons. One of the earliest sour candies, it was introduced to the market in the 19th century. It did raise some doubts in the minds of those who heard about this type of candy at first. This candy's unusual flavor was so strange that many people were concerned about how, where, and in what environment it was made. I'm not sure too. Really? However, the sector was able to gain public trust. The makers mostly used vinegar to generate a sour flavor in the candy making process. The vinegar converts the sugar to glucose, giving it a tart, savory flavor. The candy makers needed to come up with a way to make their product popular. As a result, they began extensive promotional activities in the 1950s. They devised a brilliant plan to develop Halloween-themed marketing for this aim. Everything combined to establish a strong link between the sweets and the occasion. As a result, sour candies have grown in popularity, and many candy lovers have really enjoyed them throughout the years. Altoid Sours I took a box of Altoids from her waiting room. Altoids is a well-known brand in the breath mint industry, and many people are familiar with these potent tiny mints packaged in pocket-sized tins. This is the type of thing that people remember fondly from their childhood. Your grandmother probably had some in her house or carried some in her purse. If you look hard enough, you'll notice them on grocery store shelves next to the cash. Many people are unaware, however, that these little mints have come in a variety of flavors in addition to the typical mint. Altoids Sours are a lesser-known 
own variety. If you've never tasted these rather unusual breath mints, they have a devoted following, and they will tell you how much you've been missing out on. I am not slow, you are slow. You in 2001, Altoids Sours were added to the Altoids lineup. They were hard, fruit-inspired sweets that came in a variety of colors. These little candies had a sour coating on them that gave way to a fruity, hard candy below. Apple, lime, mango, raspberry, and tangerine flavors were available in this sour edition of Altoids. At the same time, sour candies were very popular, and this was a popular choice for individuals looking for a fruity candy that was also very tangy. The tartness lasted just for a short time, but it was rather strong. Although they were still marketed as breath mints, this was a hard candy rather than a breath freshener. They've been unfortunately discontinued, but you can still find tins of these sour bombs online. Barnett's Mega Sour Fruits this guy Barnett's a one-man wrecking crew. If the ten mouth-watering flavors of these renowned sour candies aren't enough for you sour heads, the company now offers mega sour fruits. If you can get past the extremely tangy coating on these candies, you'll discover a mix of four luscious flavors inside – orange, lime, strawberry, and pineapple. It takes around 20 seconds for the unique combination of severe tartness and acidic burn to wear off. Just 20 seconds. Some people even claim that these 20 seconds will be one of the most intense of your life when it comes to candy consumption. They have been touted as some of the most sour candies available, and people really seem to love them. Even beyond the intense sourness, the flavors have been said to be delicious and worth the pain. There's only one way to know for sure, though. You'll have to try some yourself. Japanese Extreme Super Sour Lemon 3-Layered Intense Candy Challenge As you can see, I have created a lemon ball so sour. Your lips will quiver from the stunning explosion of lemon flavor in a hard candy that has a startlingly acidic flavor when you try these unusually named Japanese hard candies. Each drop is individually wrapped and has a strong lemon taste that is surrounded by a coating of sour lemon candy with a coating of lemon flavor powder on the outside. Sounds nice. The trifecta of lemony sourness makes this one of the top contenders for the world's most sour candy. Since they are from Japan, it may be a little harder to track some down compared to other candies on this list. Devout fans will tell you that it is worth the extra time to find some of these lemony candies, as they are unlike anything else on the market. Black Death Pips We will call you Black Death. On one episode of the famous television reality show The Bachelor, two contestants took a trip to Scotland. They went to a confectionery shop to find candies and had no idea what was in store for them. Both of the stars tried the Black Death Pips after a store clerk suggested they do so, and they both barely managed to avoid the candy's 20-second blast of pain, as well as probable stomach discomfort and mouth anguish that is associated with this intensely sour Sour candy. Known by some as the most sour candy in the entire world, these Black Death Pips are no joke. I'm not joking. There isn't much information available about them, which only adds to the mystery and legacy behind these little mouth-puckering pips. Although they are produced in another country, the creators are able to ship them worldwide. So the next time you're feeling brave, you may want to order some of these legendary sour candies for yourself. Check out another great Babble Top video. Just tap or click. Thanks for watching.